A makeshift shrine of candles and flowers grew around the corner from a Queens strip club in memory of 23-year-old Sean Bell, killed in a hail of police bullets Saturday morning. Bell's minister, Bishop Lester Williams, who expected to officiate at Bell's wedding Saturday, was instead searching for what to say in a eulogy. Mr. Bell would be the young man that I would want to be my son. Um, he was a uh, baseball player, uh, wonderful father, family man, nice guy, all around good guy. Just a few days ago, this modest church near Kennedy Airport was where Sean Bell was going to marry the mother of his two children. Now it's the place where they'll have his funeral. Just to show you how much in shock I am, I still, I still have this boy's marriage license right here. Mayor Michael Bloomberg, who invited community leaders to City Hall Monday, visited with the dead man's family in Queens Tuesday and with local officials at a nearby restaurant. He says he has complete confidence in the district attorney's ability to get to the bottom of the 4 a.m. incident, in which five undercover police officers fired 50 bullets at a car carrying three unarmed men, killing Bell and wounding two friends. We will conduct a thorough and impartial investigation to the extent that it is up to the police department and the administration. Uh, and uh, we will be of any assistance that we possibly can be to District Attorney Brown. Police Commissioner Raymond Kelly says investigators have located another witness to the shooting, though he provided no details. Meanwhile, a lawyer for the detectives involved says they'll be willing to waive immunity and testify before a grand jury about the shooting. Warren Levinson, The Associated Press, New York.